most prestigious club competition in European football. And now it comes down to this, the final itself. Who will prevail? It's Real Madrid. They face Liverpool, and it's coming up live on EA TV next. This is where every top-level footballer wants to be after a long season. The Champions League final. Only two teams left in the battle for Europe's Premier Club competition. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary on this final tonight by Stuart Robson. It's Real Madrid taking on Liverpool. Well, Derek, it doesn't come any better than this, does it? This has the makings of an absolute classic. These are two brilliant teams, and at the moment, I can't separate them. Let's dissect the Real Madrid side. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Nacho Fernandez in central defence. Federico Valverde plays alongside Jude Bellingham in the centre of midfield. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. So the starting lineup for Liverpool. Alisson begins in goal. Trent Alexander-Arnold starts with Andrew Robertson in the wide defensive areas. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Can he find the right pass? Corner given to Real Madrid. deliver it with accuracy was it a great clearance nicely timed tackle Darwin Nunez they are losing possession oh beating his opponent with ease Real chance in this UEFA Champions League final. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And then what a strike. That's it with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. Well, the action underway. Can Real find a response now? Tony Kors. Mandy has it. Rodriguez. And the flag was up in good time. It's offside. Well, he should have realised that was going to be offside. That's a poor decision to play that pass. Ibrahima Kornase. So Bosloy. Tremendous block. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. They play with a short one here. And it's Salah with the cross. But it just petered out. And Liverpool regaining possession here. Looking run. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Jones. Now just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. He's protecting it effectively. Chances on. Oh, tremendous save. Well, I have to say, that's a magnificent piece of goalkeeping. That's a great stop. A short one. And with 
like that, the first half comes to an end here at Wembley Stadium. So into the second half, Liverpool in front, but there might still be a few twists and turns before this is over. Well timed tackle. doing well to regain possession here and Bellingham Bellingham oh a goal to give them the lead and look at the celebrations and here's the replay watch how he goes past his man with such ease it's just a change of pace and his movement so clever Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Well, good effective pressure. So half an hour remaining. And Real with the ball again. Salah. Vinicius Junior. A disadvantage Liverpool here. Now they have possession in a good area of the pitch. Conate. Now with Alexander Arnold. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Oh, great defending. Chouameni. Not a foul, but the advantage with Real Madrid. Well, the advantage didn't come to very much, hence the award of a free kick by the referee. Well, he was flirting with trouble, but the referee has decided not to hand out a yellow card. Well, this game is almost over, not quite yet. Real Madrid still with a bit of work to do. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen from them? Well, they've certainly controlled the tempo of the game and just about deserved their lead, but they've got to keep their concentration right to the end here. Whichever way you look at that, it's been squandered. Bellingham showing a real will to win the ball. Opportunity it is. Oh dear, oh dear. The goal was... And there it is! Real! Champions League winners! This is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. Well, the celebrations are ongoing. I don't think they're going to be brought to an end anytime soon as they say for the moment with their supporters. And they've certainly played their part, the fans. They deserve to be involved in these celebrations.